We're here with VM Blog at VMON 22, and we're talking with Starwind. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're doing here at the show? Sure. So Starwind is a pretty interesting vendor. We are an infrastructure company that does various types of infrastructure solutions, ensuring that the applications that are driving the business forward are always up and running. So we do hyper-converged infrastructure, we do dedicated storage, and we do backup solutions. But we do it with an interesting twist where we're typically focused on small and medium enterprise while doing all flash technology, while retaining that small and medium enterprise friendly price tag, which is typically things that don't play well together, but we make it work. Great, and um, can you tell us a little bit about how you partner with uh, Veeam? Sure, so Veeam is the go-to backup solution that we use, and a lot of people in industry use, and since we do infrastructure solutions, it's very important to ensure full data protection and to make sure that customers adhere to the 3210 backup rule. And that's exactly why Veeam works so well with different Starwind products. So when we talk about our infrastructure solutions, about the hyper-converged infrastructure, about the dedicated storage, Veeam acts as the backup solution that provides that extra level of data protection, ensuring that your solution will always be up and running and you'll have access to your data and you'll be protected from ransomware. And when we talk about our backup appliance, it's the backup target, it's the repository that allows you to backup your data. And once again, we do it in a very interesting fashion. We have an ONVME backup solution, which sounds weird, is weird, but does a very interesting thing. Because typically when you talk about backup, you talk about the concepts of RTO and RPO, and this completely eliminates them. Your backups are near instant, your restores are near instant, and Veeam is the secret sauce that allows you to have instant recovery of your data on the backup server, which we provide with ONVME storage. Could you give us a, a deeper dive into some of the technology behind your solution? Sure. So we started out as a software company with completely in-house built software. We started as a iSCSI SAN vendor, but we went the full path. We started doing vSAN software, then we did our own hyperconverged solution. Now, the cool thing about our technology is that we have a very talented engineering team that has managed to create very interesting solutions for SMB, creating approaches which are not typical for them. So for one thing is that we have a completely wide glove approach for small and medium enterprise, and every solution is built completely bespoke. Second thing is that by using various types of flash, we managed to offer really high levels of performance, pretty much enterprise grade performance for small and medium enterprise customers. The way we do that is either utilizing a combination of read intensive, mixed use SSDs, or Optane drives, taking that read intensive SSD cost, and then negating the only downside it has, the daily write per day ratios, by having that Optane cache tier soaking in the write operations. In terms of our backup appliance, we were working with different types of NVMEs and using read intensive SSDs with Optane caching once again. We offer you near instant backup and restores while having a price tag which is not out of anybody's league. And it would be possible for us to take a look at it, have a demo maybe? Sure, my colleague will provide a demo of the product and give you some insights into how it looks and should give you a little bit of behind the scenes for our products. Now we would like to present you the web user interface for Starwind Backup Appliance. In fact, this user interface will be used for all Starwind products, including software and hardware offerings. It will be used as the single management experience for the entire Starwind ecosystem that includes HCI, storage and backup appliances as well. Currently you can download the free version of that very product straight away. Now let's go take a look at the main tabs. The dashboard tab is the one providing basic information about the operating system version, Starwind service build, storage high availability if in case configured, or the provisioning type, for example, simple, as well as virtual disks availability state. Now, resources usage shows us the CPU consumption, memory utilization, and storage usage. And of course, we get more detailed performance metrics for the IOPS, disk throughput, and of course, network throughput. All the tasks and events that were occurring in our system will be displayed in the Tasks and Events tab. The Storage tab provides us, first of all, with the management capabilities for configuring our storage. As you can see, in this testing lab we have just three devices, 120 GB each. And the Media tab shows SSD. 
Now we can create separate pools. Starwind provides the functionality to use either the hardware RAID or to use the ZFS RAID or MD RAID. Further on, when the required RAID type is configured, you can manage our virtual disks. In our example, you can see that we have MD Adam pool of our three disks. and we have a single virtual disk on top. The Networking tab provides the information about the current interfaces used as well as their purpose and allows basically configuring IP addresses and the proper usage for the available network interfaces. The Tasks and Events tab again provide all the information for current tasks and events. Speaking of the protocols, Starwind, of course, will support good old iSCSI and VME over fabrics, including our in-house build high availability, and of course the fiber channel providing the ability to easily integrate into the any infrastructure as well as meet any requirements. Thank you for uh, taking the time to speak with VM Blog. Um, if people want to find out more about your solutions, where can they go? They can go to our website, www.starwind.com, or get in touch with our team if they're attending VMON.